the learners in this lecture we'll try to see how to calculate the roof beam concrete quantity so this is a drawing what we have so let us say i want to find rb1 so the again the length remains the same only the thing is we need to play with the breadth and depth of the beam so we'll go back to the excel sheet so it's rb1 written by me 230 by 450 it's a concrete quantity so it should come in cubic meter now this length you don't have to calculate again just go to the roof beam shuttering what we have done whatever you have in rb1 this is my rb1 the beam bottom just copy that control c and come to the roof beam and paste it here i'm doing it for one beam you try to do it for all the beams it's very simple process whatever beams you have here rb1 rb2 rb3 it's 6.05 7.1 try to cross check that here also it is 6.05 rb2 rb3 7.1 copy all the thing and paste it here right yeah so once that is done the breadth also it's breadth you don't have to copy from there you can write it here because everywhere the breadth is 230 mm 230 230 230 and everywhere it is 230 so what you do just write 0.23 on one side and try to drag it i'll keep it here and you know uh, pull it till the place where you want it i'll pull it up to here so excel will take it as 0.23 everywhere now coming to the depth here up to here the depth is 450 up to here the depth of my beam is 450 up to rb15 from rb16 onwards the depth of my beam is 750 you can try to add it manually or just again do the same process write 0.45 here and drag it up to this distance and uh, from here write 0.75 and from here sorry yeah and from here try to drag it up to the last level if you are doing it manually it's well and good else you can make use of the excel sheets there is no issue with that yeah now coming to the quantity so again it's a rcc quantity that is a concrete is required so what we need to do is equal to 0.45 that is length the breadth and the depth 0.23 into the length multiply all three you are going to get the concrete quantity how many numbers are there rb1 only one number is there right so that is why i am multiplying it by 1 into 0.435 now there might have been another question in your mind when rb1 and rb13 is same why didn't we multiply this by 2 the reason behind that is because your rb1 is the size of your rb1 is 230 by 450 whereas the size of rb13 yeah this is also yeah 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 i'm sorry uh, what you can do is see rb1 to rb15 it is 230 by 450 so rb13 is also 230 by 450 and also rb1 is also 230 by 450 so in the excel sheet instead of writing it here yeah what we can do see instead of writing rb1 here and also rb13 here look at the quantity of rb1 and rb13 i'll verify that yeah so rb13 and uh, rb1 and rb1 yeah so the, both the length has to be i'll do rb13 is here it's missed yeah so rb13 and rb1 is 4.2 so this has to be 4.2 again yeah because you can know that because you have seen that already rb1 and rb13 are the similar beams rb1 rb1 and rb13 are 4.2 only so what we have to do rb1 4.2 so everything it is yeah why it is coming in this way 4.2 0.23 0.45 0.43 0.4 yeah okay okay is equal to 0.43 multiplied by 1 yeah right so it is 0.435 it is also 0.43 instead of writing it twice what i can do is i can delete this option if you want to do it in that way you can do it i'll delete this and here itself i'll write it as two quantity and here i should write it as rb1 and rb13 so that we don't go wrong anywhere so this is also another way of doing 
since there are only 21 beams not a big not a huge amount of beams you can try to count individually so that it is easy for us otherwise you can adapt the shortcut method like clubbing the beams rb1 and rb13 similarly you can club the beam rb2 and rb14 similarly rb3 and uh, rb15 can be clubbed but make sure the beams which you are clubbing are of same depth here everything was 230 by 450 that is why i putting them under one beam suppose even though the length is same but if the depth is not same in that case you let us consider rb13 rb13 size was like 230 by 750 in that case i can't add it because here since the depth of both the beam was 0 0.45 that is 450 i've added them and made it as two if if the depth was 750 for the rb13 then i should have gone back to the same, same method that i should write here rb13 and here i should have taken the depth of 0 0.75 and the copy the same thing from here. I'll copy it here. I'll copy it here. And here it will become, yeah, drag it in this way. Yeah, so it will become one here and this will be multiplied by, this is not working out. It. Try to do it, it's taking some time. 4.2 into 0 0.23 0 0.996 and this is equal to 0. Point, uh, yeah 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 sorry sorry for that 0 0.75 the depth is let us say it was 0 0.75 and this total quantity will come out to be 0 0.75 sorry 0 0.75 multiply that by 0 0.23 multiply by that 0 0.4.2 you get 0 you get 0 0.725 and this is equal to 0 0.725 multiply this by 1 yeah so it comes out to be 0 0.725 so in that case here it should have been 1 because rb1 and rb13 uh, are different and delete all these things it will be only rb1 here and here it will be rb13 right so you should be careful while doing that make sure you don't go wrong anywhere so in this way try to do it for all the beams this length remains the same only have to play with the breadth and depth so final the quantity what i'm getting is 45.572 i'll try to see that again i'm making use of this formula i'm trying to do this and you will be updating the right answer once uh, i do it from my side and i'll close this yeah, it's coming 45.572 anyhow i'll double check it all the values and then we'll upload this yeah so i require 46 m cube of concrete in the roof beam uh yeah in the roof beam so this is how you need to do the calculation for the roof beam concrete so concreting is very simple and uh, in the next lecture we'll try to see how to calculate the slab centering and the slab concreting yeah i hope uh, it is understood up to here we'll see you back in the next lecture thank you